Hello, John. Hello, Alva. So today we're going to talk about the Phoenix Park. Um, there's a lack of parking in the Phoenix Park at the moment because um, what they've done basically is they have um, they've created a, on Chesterfield Avenue, which is about three kilometers long, they've created a cycle lanes on both sides. Um, so this means that before up to a thousand cars or more would park in the Phoenix Park. <clears throat> but now, of course, there's nowhere to park anymore. So if you want to go to the park in the evening, Pope's Cross, of course, is full of cars and there's nowhere to park. So I just want to talk about a few things anyway in the park that people might know that there was a, there's a train that runs under the Phoenix Park. OK, it um, was built in 1877 and it was mainly for freight trains and for stuff like that to carry stuff down to the docks from Houston Station. Um, that closed for a time and it reopened in 2016. It's now <clears throat> a passenger train and mostly from Monday to Friday. And it runs for about 690 meters under the park. So what I'm going to suggest is that it's what, what they've done at the moment is this they've put um they've put cycle lanes, as I say, on either side of Chesterfield Avenue. It's blocking uh, you can't park a car there now. Um you have to go elsewhere. So what I was going to suggest maybe was that they either move the cycle lanes further into the fields in the park so that people can park in the park, or there was a suggestion recently as well that um they're going to block up the park altogether. Um, and the cars wouldn't go through Chesterfield Avenue. So what I'm suggesting basically is they put another tunnel under the park from the gates there at the entrance to Castlenock all the way down for three kilometres, either a bicycle tunnel for bicycles or else for cars and bicycles. So uh, over to you, John Malone. Right. Uh, the tunnel that's there at the moment, uh, wh what goes uh, on that tunnel at the moment that was built uh, some years ago? What goes through? Did you say? So, so at the moment, there's there's, there's a there's a passenger tra train going through it because they reopened it. Is there? So it goes through on, under the Phoenix Park. It doesn't do yeah. And where does it come from? I wonder. So it's coming from Houston Station, and it goes six hundred ninety meters under the park, and then it goes from there to the docks. But I never knew that. Uh, I never knew that. So there's a train service, and and uh, now you were talking about a, a another tunnel for um, this situation where um, where the cycle lanes have been introduced uh, in this. Is this is the one from as you're coming up towards the Phoenix Park when you go through and you you can come out at the Castle Knock gates? You know, is that what the, is that the road where now you can't park? That's right, yeah, yeah. So what I'm just suggesting because because they're thinking oh, what's of what's that road? Hold on, what's that road called? Call, did you say Chesterfield Avenue? It's what Chesterfield Avenue. Chesterfield but Avenue. I never knew the name. But I, I thought it was uh, something else. Um, from 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 uh, as you're coming off Parkade Street or somewhere like that, and you go up and you can come out at the Castle Knock Gates if you're going that direction. Say to Blanchetown or somewhere, you come out at the Castle Knock Gates. And uh, you can go thither and yon. I used to use that road quite a bit. And I used to use another road when I was going to the north side, cut across and come out um, somewhere um, near the north circular road, whatever it was. I, used to come, I knew where I was going anyway. And uh, sometimes I didn't know the name of the roads that much, but uh, I knew which where I was going. And um, you could go to Cabra that way and places like that in Pittsburgh. Now, um, so the cycle lanes now have been introduced. How long have they been? How long have they been introduced and cars not allowed to park? When I would say, happen? God, they must be there two or three years now. It couldn't be that long because the Green Party wasn't in. I don't. I hope they weren't. Were, were they in the doll at that stage? Because uh, I never heard of that. Now this is the first time I heard of, of this business of of cycle lanes and cars now being banned. And you're talking about a tunnel. Well, I wouldn't go along with that in a fit because uh, I can assure you that the Green Party has a hatred of the cars for some reason, whatever sort of um, <laughs> there's something wrong with them between their ears. Okay. Uh, to have this uh, nonsense about uh, climate and all the rest of it, as if they have some control over it. They haven't their head. Um, uh, the climate will look after itself, and the same as they're always done before they come on the scene. Uh, there are a um, crowd of people that believe in nothing. That means they'll believe in nothing, which is what they're at. And uh, doing this kind of thing, interfering with people's right to use the park as they always have done, which is where to park the car 
and uh, stop this old nonsense about bicycles. But everybody can use a bicycle. I wouldn't like to be on a bicycle at my age or uh, anywhere in Dublin because uh, there's too much traffic, isn't there? Uh, but when you go to the Phoenix Park, you'd like to be able to park the car and take a, a stroll. You know, not everybody is uh, fit to be cycling. So the occasion for these perhaps younger people and these ones that are obsessed with bicycles. Uh, funny enough, uh, the, your man, uh, Moise de Gopelin, did a, a story about the bicycle, and I think a sergeant on a bicycle, and so the bicycle nearly could talk to him. And that was a very humorous book. If you ever, if you ever read it, uh, if I read it, he'd be smiling all the time. Uh, but it was about the bicycle. And so I think the Green Party of that kind of a difficulty at the moment, people on bicycles. Well, when you reach a certain age, uh, women and men, you can't, you don't want to be up in bicycles. You've, you've reached from that. I was on a bicycle when I was young because nobody had a car. But then when you have a car, they want to get rid of it. Yeah. And they want you to put, hop, your, hop into an, an electric yoke yeah. with batteries that you can't go anywhere in them. Yeah, so okay. listen to me, John. We're gonna oh, we're gonna we're, go, we're gonna leave it there because we're running out of time for recording here. Um, so Bobby. yeah, so well, look, we'll follow we we'll follow this. Uh, yeah, so we'll follow up this again um in the future. But uh, thanks for your thoughts, and um, we'll continue maybe uh another time. Yeah.